Early morning, 23rd of July, the police called here and said that I had captured this man responsible for his terrible actions. And he wanted you as his lawyer and later also as his defender during the trial. So my first question is, why did you accept this request? And what were your personal reasons and values behind this decision? Well, it's a good question. And of course, it was a difficult, uh, difficult decision. And uh, in the first, I was quite shocked over the telephone. But uh, after a couple of minutes, um, when I sat down and think it over, uh, it, it was very clearly, clearly to me that uh, human rights and human dignity is absolute values. I think it must be absolute values. And uh, of course, a terrorist is also a human being. And he must be treated with human dignity and human values. I've been working as a lawyer for 25 years. And I think that the value of rule of law is, is extremely important for society and for everyone who lives in it. So that, that was uh, the reason that I, uh, a couple of minutes later, just uh, called back and said, I will take the case. When you're thinking back now, two years since the trial, Nelly, how did this trial affect you? What were your key learnings? What well, you it affected me in many ways, of course. Um, but uh, if I will, if I just said one thing that's been very important, it's, it's that I've learned so much about um, how values affect uh, our way to act and uh, our way to think. Uh, in the beginning, everyone in Norway was afraid, me also. Uh, it was difficult to understand, it was difficult to, to see how we should react on this terror case. But um, due to uh, value communication from, from the government, from the church, from, from the press, from the media, and also from the young kids that had been affected so gruesome by this, uh, this terror act, because of their value uh, communication, that we should meet this act with, with human rights and human dignity, um, it created some kind of platform, uh, and it created some kind of direction. That uh, was a very strange thing to, to, to experience, that maybe just in two or three days, people get from angry uh, to, to um, understandful. And, and, um, we were getting around these values, and that was very, very um, meaningful for me to, to see, and it was very, um, it was a very strong experience. According to your view, uh, how do law and jurisdiction function in our societies today? I think that the values of, of rule of law, uh, human dignity, and, and um, human rights is values that we have to talk about all the time, uh, and we have to defend it all the time. Uh, if we take that for granted, it will be very, very difficult. And I also think it will be very dangerous uh, to take those values for granted because uh, it can change a, a country and a continent very fast if you, if you don't uh, take these values uh, and talk, to, talk about them and, um, and uh, learn the people in a country what does they mean, what do, what do they mean.